In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Okay? So you've got Genesis 1-1 that says God created the heavens and the earth. In Genesis 1-2 says, and the earth was without form and void. So there's a, there's a discrepancy there. Thea seems to disagree on a surface level with Genesis, saying, well, wait, the earth is formless and void. The, but he says it, it wasn't created that way. So there has to be something that made it formless and void. For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it, he hath established it, he created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord and there is none else. Void. It's the same exact word in the Hebrew as it is in Genesis 1-2. So how, how is it not formless? But it also is formless, and it really goes back to Genesis 1-2, which says, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So 2 Peter 3-5, For this they are willingly ignorant of, the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. So what Peter's saying here is that Noah's flood was the second time that the earth was flooded with water. Just look at Genesis and you see that the earth was covered with water. And then later, uh, there's the flood of Noah. So at least twice that we know about that's biblical, there have been, there have been floods that have covered the earth. That's right. Uh, in one, people survived, and in the other, everything perished. What was on the earth before man got here, before God recreated it? There was something here on the earth, and we know that by reading Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12 through 17, simply says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? This is very important. There were nations here prior to um, the, the world perishing, right? As Peter talked about. For thou hast said in, my, in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, so he's below heaven. I will exalt my throne, so he has a throne on the earth. I'll exalt my throne above the stars of God, so he's beneath the stars, okay? I will also sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. The sides of the north he's talking about, that's where heaven is. Heaven's in the north. I'll also sit upon the mount of the congregation on the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. So he's below the clouds. The only thing below the clouds is the earth. Lucifer. So what this is saying is Lucifer's on the earth in charge of nations. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying, Is this the man? that made the earth to tremble and did shake kingdoms. So now he's got kingdoms, not only nations, but Satan is in charge of kingdoms. See, there's multiple kingdoms on the earth. This is prior to Adam. This is prior to Adam and Eve and prior to the recreation of the heavens and the earth, right? That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof. So now he's got cities that opened not the house of his prisoners. All the kings of the nations, even upon them, lie in glory, everyone in his own house, okay? Lucifer's on the earth in charge of nations and cities and kingdoms. So whenever archaeologists find old ruins, ancient ruins, they date back to, to prior to 6,000 years ago. Most of the civilizations they find are really only 45, 5,000 years ago because that's when Noah was. Right. But they do find some things that are older than that. And it's because there were things here before Adam. And if you go, if you go read the Genesis 1, chapter 1 in the Hebrew, it's essentially a recreation of the earth. So as opposed to let there be light, what God is actually saying, if you go read the original Hebrew is, turn the lights back on. Right? Right. He had already created it. He, he recreated it from Genesis 2 through 
the English. You get into uh, Genesis 1 verse 2, that word is hayah, which is most often and most accurately translated became. Right. It's saying the word, the world became formless and void. point of all of this, right? right. What, what does this matter? Right. Well, it matters a lot when you really, because it, it starts to place into context when you have uh, scientists that will come out and say, well, Christians are uh, crazy when they say that we've only been here 6,000 years because the earth is billions of years old. No longer do Christians have to be crazy because the earth is not 6,000 years old. God's man, human history, is 6,000 years old. We can agree on that. Mankind is 6,000 years old. The earth is not.